What? Welcome back to Stories the Path of Destiny, where absolutely nothing stupid happened during our last attempt at a recording a uh, specific route. There are only four routes left, and there's no possible way that anybody could misnavigate these at all. <laughs> Definitely not. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> all right. Do, do you think they bought it? Uh. <laughs> All right. But but I I feel like I I feel we need to rescue that fucking rabbit for the eight millionth time <laughs> because nothing bad could possibly happen from rescuing that rabbit. I know, right? Blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yes, we know you sold a horse, and we're sure you're very sorry about it, and you're nothing but friend shape. Yes. hadn't actually stolen a winged horse, he'd only sold it. Ignoring that, you know, you, you walked out on your wife and daughter. Well, well, he was, he wanted to help with the rebellion, and that's important. Yeah. And they were imperialist scumbags, glory to Rostovska. Also, turns out they were related to the rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh god. Oh man, I remember that was in a secret room in uh, Shadow Warrior. Because, like, there there were rabbits normally as just, like, harmless things you could blow up in addition to the uh, random so naked anime girls. Right. But, uh, <laughs> look, listen, it was in the same vein as Duke Nukem, okay? Um, it was a different time. Yeah. But there was one secret room where there was a cave based on the, uh, I can't even remember what it's called because it's been so long since I've seen Holy Grail. Yeah. And the, there's this rabbit, and it comes up to you at rocket speed and just starts chewing you up. Wait till I show you Dragon's Crown. Hmm. Love we'll to get another controller for that, but. <laughs> I mean, I'm bringing a controller, so. For PS3? Never mind! First, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoner. Well, unless he. Didn't we go up a little less? I mean, no, there wasn't another session in here. What are you talking about? He won't. Nah. What would Lapino do if he knew that Lapino was going to betray him? Well, he'd concoct some crazy scheme, wouldn't he? That you, Lapino, would betray him against him and it would blow up his face. Maybe he was overthinking this. Well, that would be a first. There you go, you damn bloody rabbit. And bloody. Renato finally reached Lapino. All right, we we are gonna go after Zenobia because this is a brilliant thing to do. I know, right? Capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who happened to also be a deadly sorcerer, and oh, his only daughter. Uh, that would be worth it, and it would be nice to see her. He always had a soft spot for her, and he felt sure she had one for him. In the back of her head. <laughs> he to the core of the Sky Ripper. Even if he couldn't get the whole thing, it must have great power. Zenobia wasn't... The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her at Renato Sh...
So, yep, getting Zenobia where nothing can possibly go wrong. Murdering some crows, this is fine. Exactly. Everything's fine here. Yeah. We're fine. I, I, I'm fine, how are you? I mean, I got best beef next to me, so... Mwah. knew how Lupino thought. Sometimes his plans were so convoluted they did the exact opposite to what Lupino wanted. And there must be some way to play on that, Nardo thought. We're going this way. Yep. Through the sewer level, which is not much of a sewer level, luckily. this plan of yours. Use me as bait. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. We're not doing it. Okay. plan that involved geese, a net, setting the fire fairy a little bit on fire. You're not setting my boat on fire. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's wrong with you? There's many things wrong with this rabbit. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. Oh, go ahead. I'm sure you know better. Said Lapino. Probably. So forward we go. Forward. Ship making no sound at all. Where are her guards? Finally, he reached her. Now I just wanted some privacy, Renato said. Renato knew she still had feelings for him. Maybe he could just cut to the chase. But was timing right? I don't think the timing's right for that. Yeah. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? And he told her why. His Imperial Majesty wanted to bring the Lost Gods back. They could... Okay, so... <coughs> the scientists at the... Alright, we'll give you proof, maybe. <laughs> okay, I think we're starting to see story beats we haven't seen before, so... Okay. But yeah, it's finding proof. Yeah, because I think the proof was we were just going to show her the head witness that uh, got blown up. Yeah, but I think this is a different take on those scenes slightly. Okay. Oh, we're going backwards. Don't want to do that.
caught up with him. Don't you think I know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Did you want to join in? Oh, no, no, I destroy his books and... See, the dialogue's slightly different oh, here. okay. Whose? I wouldn't. She stopped. Troubled. He ran on. The rebellion had started after atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. That's creepy. Just a bit, yeah. The scientists on this island had been investigating the Emperor's dark ritual on their own. They were neutral in the civil war engulfing the Empire. But they could see that the dark magics the old toad had loosed were changing the world. Renata hoped he and Zenobia weren't putting them in danger. How far exactly did these things travel? That's a good question. That wall kind of sucked at its job today. Just a smidge, yeah. Well, that can't be good. No. No. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared around, shocked. The scientists had been neutral. They had no part in the rebellion. Take me to your council, she said, shaken. I have things to tell them. It was what Renardo had gambled on. The Zenobia would turn against her father once she knew his madness. But the rebel base was secret. Could he really risk taking the Emperor's daughter there? I say we should trust her. Okay. Renata reached the Pino by Far Speaker Toad. The one creature the Ravens had left alive at the observatory. The Pino seemed awfully anxious to meet him at the secret base. If he I'm, I'm sure him, that's fine. He'd turn around and reveal the coordinates to the Empire, jeopardizing the entire rebellion. But Renato couldn't bear to think that Lupino would commit such horrible treachery. Definitely good and mad rabbit. What are you talking about? I felt sure of it. I'll meet up with you at the base, Lupino said through the toad. Good thinking. Renato gave him the coordinates. There's a shuttle here I can uh, borrow. Renato found Zenobia in the chart room. I've been having awful dreams, she said. Dead kittens and oh, worse. I thought there were only dreams, you know. Why would anyone want the lost gods back in those days? The favorite of a god could become immortal. She held herself and shivered. He wants to become an evil. I feel like that's a thing that, like, well, the I'm monster in Omen Sight was nicknamed. Just yeah, I think so. <laughs> Renato said, but she didn't laugh. Silence fell as they flew towards the ruins of the city of Ubar, where the rebellion leadership was hiding. If Zenobia couldn't help them fight off her father, no one could. As they touched the ground- I came here for- wow, that's a reference. And hear that <laughs> cause in the distance. 
They're probably looking for me, she said. You go on ahead. She had that fiery look in her eyes that he'd always loved. It was a bit odd, though, how easy she'd been to convince. It was what he'd gambled on, but he'd expected more of an argument. She'd always loved to argue. She considered it the fastest way to the truth. Ah, she's, uh... She'd long is that the, truth. the Socratic method or Sometimes the Platonic method? The I think it's the Socratic the method. That must be it, he told himself. So I, we will find the rebel base and everything will be fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, it's not like we've had a numerous amount of problems over the course of this. Mm-hmm. I'm sure this will be the one true path to happiness and, like, 50 pounds of bacon. Yeah. This may not be the true ending, but maybe this will be better than the true ending. Mm -hmm. Zenobia had really turned. The war could soon be over. She could send orders to the fleet that would leave their defenses wide open. The rebels could sail right in and capture the Emperor. Victory. Not too many casualties. They caught their breath under a ruined arch. It's beautiful. She said, this was the library of Ubar, he said. Your father's ravens thought they had an ancient book. She nodded. Was she crying? This that, that's a, that looks like a Sims animation. Yeah. To her to our cause. So, why do I feel something is terribly wrong? Because nothing ever goes this smoothly, is why. That is, that is true. Yeah, just a bit. Apples. Apples. So nobody you want an apple? No, more for me then. Yep. Platform, get out of here. We're done with you. Yeah. Quit blocking those fields. You're obstructing my view of Venus. Just you knock it off with the booze. It's messing up the shuffleboard court. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do love Muppet Treasure Island. Mm. I know there are better Muppet movies, but I do love Muppet Treasure Island. Mm. The one that I watched the most as a young kid, and it was because we had it taped off of television, was uh, The Great Muppet Caper. But I haven't seen it in like 30 years or 25 years or some ridiculous amount of time like that, so I don't remember it that well. Mm. Is that the one where apparently Fozzie and Kermit are twins? Y yes, that's the one. <laughs> Like, how are you two twins? Fozzie, take off your hat. Oh, I can see it now. <laughs> Starring everybody and me. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hmm. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far, so good. Some of the music for a very brief second reminded me of Sonic X. <laughs> like, I heard something like, and it was suddenly filled with, like, indescribable rage. I'm like, oh, never mind, it's fine. <laughs> so, several of our friends are big fans of Sonic X. <laughs> good! <laughs> 
I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> the council toads swarmed around Zenobia, shocked she was there, shocked she had changed sides. Then the walls exploded. He heard toads croaking. Raven! Ravens! What did you do? <laughs> holes everywhere. It's a trap. That's for all the woos. <laughs> In the confusion, we saw flashes of magic. Then Zenobia being hustled off by Imperial troops. So she Betrayal. after all. Renato Lovely. Ran for his ship. The Farfarer flew into the clouds, barely losing the Imperial Ravens pursuing him. The rebellion was lost. And he had lost it. There was nothing to do but find Zenobia and make her pay for her treachery. His heart ached. He still loved her. But he had trusted her and he had been a fool. She would be back at the fleet, gloating with her mad, bloodthirsty father. For all Renardo knew, she was helping him bring back the old lost gods back from their exile. Welp, betrayal. Again. Renato landed in the middle of the Imperial fleet. Hell has no fury. Well, without leadership, it was a slaughter. Renato felt strangely free, trying not to think about how he had lost the war, trying not to think about how he had loved Zenobia, blinded himself to her treachery. That's what it meant to be a hero, to keep on fighting after the most bitter of betrayals. I, I don't think that's what it means to be a hero. I was gonna say. <laughs> This fruit local? That's what we're not. That's a genuine question. I don't know. What do you consider local in this world? That that that's an even better question. Cost to another level. Hero. And the mad fled to safety, carrying on. Je the fact that we're remembering Lupino now certainly won't be important. Nah. All there was was slash and spin, parry and lunge, over and over as he fought his way across the fleet. All there was was finding the girl he'd once loved, who had used his love against him and putting as big a hole in her heart as she'd left in his. Are, are you sure we didn't get the uh, Iblis Stone? I was gonna say. Level up gods for rays. Hmm. Hmm.
Engagemurder.exe. Pretty much. We've got frogs, we've got ravens, we got cats. What what's the real deal going on here? I know, right? And suddenly Zenobia was there, advancing a Lapino. So the mad rabbit had survived. Save me, or I'm done for! screamed Lapino. Zenobia turned, showing her teeth in a smile. You're alive! Renardo ran towards the witch. Lapino's the one who betrayed you! She shouted. He warned my father. Before well, he could think, whoops. Renardo sank his sword into the sorceress. She stared at him, heart broken. No, Lapino's the traitor. Renardo had an awful sinking feeling in his stomach. Then he felt a knife in his back. I'm afraid she's right. Stinker. <laughs> 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 That's a good and reference. Yeah. The sun went out. This is why Damn we it. should have taken a left turn at Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. Oh, again? But that is all of Lapino's ending. Yeah. Which, he was sure of that. He must have not Keeps used the fighting right after way. the most bitter betrayals. Oh. Yeah, okay. What was the best, worst mistake you could make? Well, either way, we got three more endings to get before we can go for the true Lapino. ending. Yep. Well, what's going to happen in the next one? Well, you're just going to have to tune in to find out. But until then, we're the Land Star saying thank you very much for watching. And it is time for dinner. Yes, it is.